God bless you. Good evening to you. Uh, good morning, if it's morning time, or uh, whatever time you may be viewing this telecast. This is once again, Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. coming on to you with the only infallible, the only uncompromising, the only unadulterated written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. That is who ordained us and sent us and equipped us and anointed us to preach the gospel, to preach the word. All right. We represent Jesus. We represent Jesus. Notice I didn't say I'm representing such God in Christ or apostolic. A full gospel, non-nomination. Notice how to say I represent them. For if I say I'm a representative of the Church of God in Christ, which I am a member, I am not a representative of Jesus Christ. Let that soak for a minute. If I say I'm a representative of a church of God in Christ, I am not a representative of Jesus Christ. Because the church of God in Christ did not send me, did not save me. But Jesus did. Uh, now the church of God in Christ represents Jesus Christ <laughs> because that's who they preach. In other denomination, I'm a representative of Jesus Christ and called and authorized and certified to preach to every creature, not just church of God in Christ. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go into the lesson. Don't forget, any question you have, contact us. Through Facebook, YouTube, contact us. We're on YouTube. Hallelujah. All right. Second Timothy, the second chapter, I was kind of pondering what should I uh, speak on tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Which we are never out of word. <laughs> never. Because all this word here from Genesis to Revelation, we're never out of word. But sometimes we feel led to speak on specific things. And I had thought once about putting a video from YouTube with one of my old messages from YouTube and replay some of those because I was feeling no, you know, no option to do a new broadcast on tomorrow. But the Lord brought something to my mind that gave us an option and led us and directed us to Post this tomorrow. So we'll pull from YouTube some other time. Second Timothy, the second chapter, and it reads on this wise. Thou therefore, my son, this is Paul talking to Timothy. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. Do you not know that it's the grace of God that calls you to be who you are and whatever your calling or position? Do you not know that that's a, the grace of God given to you? Do you not know that it is the grace of God that saved you, not only saved you, that called you to be a preacher, that anoints you to preach the word? That's the grace of God. Huh? 
The grace of God is what caused you to be who you are in Christ. <clears throat> All right. Be strong in the grace. What God called you to do, be strong in. And the thing that thou have heard of me among men and witnesses, men and witnesses testified about my life in my life in Christ. Men and witnesses. It's a sad thing when you live in the life of Christ and nobody see it and nobody say nothing. Uh-oh. The same thing commit thou to faithful men. Tell faithful men the same thing I'm telling you. Who shall be able to teach others? You can't teach nobody nothing if you ain't went through nothing yourself. Sit down somewhere. Thou therefore, watch this, if this is what God led me to tonight. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. That's what I want to talk about. Enduring hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Paul told Timothy to endure hardness. Let's go over here to St. Mark. St. Mark, the fourth chapter. Let's begin reading <clears throat> with the uh, uh, 15th verse, 14. The sower soweth the word, and these are they that, these are they by the wayside, where the word was sown. But when they heard Satan coming immediately and taking away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown, sown on stony ground. Who when they have heard the word immediately received it with gladness. It's not how you start. It's how you continue. It's how you end. Lavo hear the word and receive it with gladness. Yeah. My God, but they didn't count up the cost. <laughs> ah, all right. They immediately received the word of God with gladness. They received the word of God with gladness. But Jesus said, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. All right. And have no root in them. You, if you don't stay planted, your roots will not run deep. The Lord told me years ago, maybe 20 years ago. He said, those that are deeply rooted are those that stay planted, that stand. The longer you stay, the deeper your roots. But if you keep jumping, every time trouble comes, you jump. Every time disappointment comes, you run. Every time this happens, you run. But stay there. Stay there. Stay there. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Stay there. <laughs> Stay there. Through trouble, through hardship, through pain, through disappointment. Stay there. Stay with God. Hallelujah. And they have no root in them. And they endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, the word will get you in trouble. Satan's going to come and try to take the word. Satan's going to come and try to make you take down. That's Satan's job. That's his job. To, to, to try to prevail against the church. Jesus said you're going to be hated. They're going to kill some of them. Put you in prison. Put them out. Put you out of the synagogue. Beat you. Stone you. All that kind of thing. But endure. Persecution the writing. For the word's sake. Immediately they are offended. 
they are offended. They do as long as everything was all right. But when hard times came, when trouble came, they were offended. And they didn't do it, they left. It got too hot in the kitchen. They left. They took down. They they decided they ain't going to preach no more. They ain't going to stand on the word no more. They ain't going to preach the whole true gospel no more because of persecution. In the church. <clears throat> A lot of the apostles trouble and Jesus trouble. That was among, among the mostly the church folks. The saints are supposed to be saints. Jews, God told the people. <laughs> All right, give me Matthew 24. I'm going somewhere with this. <clears throat> Matthew 24, 13. And because the nickel the shell about the Lord, men said West Coast. That bag back up to the night first. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, shall kill you, you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Then many shall uh, be offended, shall betray one another, shall hate one another. Many false prophets shall rise and deceive many, because the niggas shall abound, the little men shall whack cold. But, this Jesus talking, he that endure to the end. And all that, all that hard stuff and bad stuff, endure. Now, you got the Holy Ghost, you can endure. You have Jesus, you can endure. Great as he is in you, that he is in the world. Endure. Personal testimony. A number of years ago, maybe, maybe 20, I was going through I mean, trouble. <clears throat> trouble. Trouble on every side. I was going through. Nothing but trouble. Seemed like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. And as I was praying, no, did nobody call me out and prophesy to me. As I was praying, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost did tell me that, okay, you finna come out. The Holy Ghost did tell me I finna deliver you. The Holy Ghost didn't tell, didn't, didn't tell me uh, uh, in three days, you ain't going to have to worry about it. The Holy Ghost didn't tell me, oh, it's your season. But the Holy Ghost told me, and he spoke it as I was praying. He said, endure, endure, endure. As I was praying, in the midst of all my trouble, the Holy Ghost told me, Endure, endure, endure. That means stand. That means don't take down. That means don't run and hide. Endure, endure. The Holy Ghost told me that. And the Holy Ghost told me along the same time when I was praying, the Holy Ghost told me, hush. Hush! Shut them out. You know, you know, the more you try to take up for yourself and defend yourself, that ain't gonna make nobody believe you. <laughs> I don't care what you say. Hush! It ain't so bad. And I had some to come to me. Man, I ain't know it's all about go through what you're going through and you ain't saying nothing. Because the Holy Ghost told me to hush. Holy Ghost told me to endure. And now that trouble is over. Endure. The Holy Ghost told me to endure. And he quit, he quit me to endure. 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 He that endure to the end shall be saved. Endure hardness as a good soldier. All right. God bless your heart. <laughs>